moment that Lesnar originally suggested they do title for title, I was thinking, oh, they wouldn't mention that if they weren't going to do it, I feel, because Vince has that long-standing policy of don't promise something unless you're going to deliver it. Well, then Brock mentioned again last night on Raw. He did, which tells me, isn't he going to walk out of Elimination Chamber well, with that title? Let's move on to that, because I can't think of a better segue to move on to the, to, to, to talk and start talking about Raw, at least. So, sure. yes, we had the opening segment where uh, uh, Pierce is in the ring, Lashley and MVP come out. Uh, Pierce essentially tells Lashley, hey, you're going to have to defend that title in Elimination Chamber. Um, I guess five other people. Lashley, understandably, not happy about it. Brock comes out. And he's pretty much like, hey, I'm not mad at you. I'm facing Roman at Mania, but I'm here to fight now. Let's have, I want my rematch right now. Uh, MVP convinces Lashley to decline. Pierce puts Brock in the chamber match. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and when Brock is trying to make the case to Lashley to give him his title rematch last night, he says he wants to do it so we can make his match against Roman at Mania title for title. That's twice they've mentioned this. Now, yeah, is it a yeah. situation where they had Lashley winning to advance the story with Brock? There's more heat on Roman for Cost and Lesnar, that belt. I can't see, even though against five other people, the way Brock is booked now, him taking a pin in the chamber after he getting pinned at the Rumble. Him eating two pins in the in advance of the Mania match. Now, Maybe they do something where someone gets eliminated. They open the cage door. Roman runs out, and the Usos, they beat the heck out of Brock, toss him out of the cage, and they just do this thing where since he's out of the cage, he's eliminated or something like that. You know? Man, I don't That's know. That's the I only got, way yeah. around it. I get the feeling on top of that, they're in Saudi Arabia. We just talked about this during the pre-show. Um, they, they, they book these Saudi matches for big moments, and Brock winning the title back in front of the Saudi Arabia crowd, that's a huge moment. And then uh, and then he'll walk into WrestleMania with it. Yeah, once once Brock mentioned once Brock mentioned again the uh, the title for title thing. They they're not gonna tease it twice. No, they're not. And, and it's not funny because the the amount of mental gym, gymnastics creative has taken to get there. So it's like, okay, so we need Brock by necessity to take on Roman Reigns. We want it to be title versus title, but he's not going to enter. He's not going to have any motivation to enter the Royal Rumble unless he loses the title. But we still want it to be title for title, so he's got to lose his title in the first place, which motivates him to get into the Royal Rumble, and so he'll face Roman. We want it to be title versus title, so we're also going to put him in the Elimination Chamber where he's going to win the title back. And then take on Roman Reigns. There's got to be a simpler way to have done this without a short transitional champion like Bobby Lashley, right? I know. I know. I, it almost kind of yeah. seems like that maybe Brock shouldn't have won at day one. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. Imagine if they'd follow through what the original plans were. I mean, Brock wouldn't Which, have eaten the yeah. pin, have Seth pin, I guess. I don't know who, somebody else. Kevin Owens even. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um and because even if Kevin Owens, by his own logic, he's been using, when one of them wins the WB championship, they're both champions. So even by him eating the pin, Kevin mm-hmm. Owens, that is, he's still champion. You know, mm-hmm. that's just the logic he's been using. Yeah. Yeah, Seth win, you carry on with whatever you're going to do there. You don't have Brock get the win there. Then you don't have to go through all these these lengths to get him in the in the in the in the the rumble. Yeah. You know, I mean, I guess it, unless they just really want to do title for title. Well, yeah, that's what, two, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, and they okay, but then I just think I I, I I just think if it's here here this is the easiest thing in the world. Brock goes to day one, he gets the title. All right, that's done. He's got the title. So now you're thinking, how do we motivate him to get to Roman Reigns? It's easy. What Brock wants, Brock gets, and Brock doesn't like being shoved off by Roman Reigns saying, well, it's not my idea. Well, Brock wouldn't like that. So Brock's thinking is, who cares if I'm the champion? I'm still going to get in the Royal Rumble. It's not unprecedented. I think even when we were doing our, up until we were doing our predictions, I, I, I brought it up, and I don't remember if you agreed with me or not, but at the time I said, if Brock wins, I find it, I feel like it's more likely he's going to go into the Rumble. Yeah. yeah for yeah, that yeah. very reason, as opposed yeah, to sure. him losing. Yeah. yeah. Because if he lost to Lashley, well, the motivation to go after Roman is already there. They spent since what October, whatever it was, when Brock came whatever back. Whatever it was, yeah, yeah. 
building up to this match a, a, yeah. at Mania. Yeah. They're not going to drop it. You didn't need for him to go for him to draw. I mean, obviously, it's like that. That's why I thought Brock was going to win against Lashley is because he went in there and it's like, well, I beat Lashley. The only my only hesitation on that one was the build. And it was Brock saying Bobby who, which was just really disrespectful. But it didn't matter in the in, anyways, because he's going to end up beating Bobby Lashley um, at Elimination Chamber with all the other guys. Um, Brock beats Lashley. And he's like, this is the best you have on Raw. I want all of it. Roman doesn't like title for title. So that automatically makes me want to beat Roman title for title. And so I'm going to enter myself into the Royal Rumble because guess what? I'm Brock Lesnar. I can do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And then he wins the Rumble and, and he's champion. And that's an unprecedented thing. And that's more of a surprise. I know. Because who would expect the champion to still enter the Royal Rumble, but he's yeah. Brock Lesnar. He can do what he wants to do. I know. Well, he he did do that when he was in the Rumble when Drew eliminated him. He was champion. Yeah. You know, there is some precedent for it. And kind of the way that Brock... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Kind of the way Brock even got in the Rumble was kind of underwhelming. He just was there. He didn't attack yeah, anybody. He, he didn't really take anybody yeah. out. He didn't take anybody's spot. He was just yeah. there. Like, he went backstage and filled out some last-minute paperwork and handed it to Adam Pearce, and he's in the match. Yeah. there's no, There wasn't a whole lot of drama to it. I'd ra oh, honestly, I'd rather that anyways. I'd rather the strongest dude have the title anyways. You know, have the biggest guy against the biggest guy. Title for title. It's the biggest match. It's night two of WrestleMania. That's a big, big deal. That's mm -hmm. huge. It is huge. That's huge. Why have a secondary? You know, I always, I couldn't stand, a spe back in the day, uh, 2011 or so. When did Edge retire? Wasn't it like 20, was it 2011? It was 2011. 2011. When him and Del Rio opened WrestleMania for the big gold title, and around that time, SmackDown was uh, it was like a clip show, basically. Yeah, like it was supposed to be the second brand, but it really it wasn't. It was like the the B brand. It was the B and show. It really was, and the big gold title was just. I can't stand that. I like I like when it is you know when Drew McIntyre had the WWE title uh, in Empty Arena era. It felt like okay. This dude could go toe to toe with Roman Reigns, and sure enough, when they did the Survivor Series match, um, like you know, Drew looked kind of stupid in the promos. But I'm didn't they have to? They probably had to overbook that shit, didn't they? How yeah, did they I do that so. match? I, I forget. So. That. It was certainly more competitive than Big E versus Roman Reigns, and I couldn't stand that. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, Big E is your guy. He's the USA's paying. I'll never get over USA. You're paying a billion dollars for this programming and you have and and you have like a secondary guy as your champ your well, champions look how, look how roman uh, uh, uh dealt with that wb title at the rumble he hits brock with it just chucks it to the ground i mind that a little less because roman should think that he's the a champion no he should i know think i don't that. disagree with that but at the same time this is like he, continuously the where he's 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 yeah right bearing yeah. the wb title you yeah, know he called yeah. drew the b champion yeah to his yeah. face but that's why I like that's one thing that I like Brock wanting to get that title back because he wants title for title because he does value that USA title. I call it that. It's the, the, the USA WWE title. title. He values the WWE title, you know, and that's what it should be. They should mm -hmm. be valuing it. 